Who was that hoochie mama you were talking to earlier as I was coming up the cobbles? Just some tourist who was looking for directions to the old library vents. Oh to be wasting one's day like sad undrunks looking for libraries and such. The living dead, these people. They'd feckin' drive you to the drink. Hope you sent her on a wild goose chase. I did not Vince. I sent her to the top of the T-junction. Left, right, left, then first right. From where I met you earlier, for her to have taken those directions she'd have ended up at Riley's hardware store in the center of town. BJ Purs. I was a bit under the weather this morning. Must have thought I was on the ramparts when I bumped into her. As opposed to shit street where I found you. I'm actually not that shot krills. You're like a soup obsessed homing pigeon. And by soup I mean industrial strength toilet cleaner. You have a built-in GPS system that recalculates your position in relation to Riley's irrespective of where you are in town or what state you are in. She gave me a two euro piece for my troubles the lovely lady that she was. I don't deserve that money now Vince, not if I sent her to Riley's instead of the old library. What you going to do so? Head up the library and hope she's been aimlessly farting about there all day. What kind of person gives you money for directions anyway? Maybe she thought I looked a little desperate. Desperate is putting it mildly. Wonderful of her to give you the benefit of the doubt all the same. What'll we do with the money, sir? Let's be honest here, Krills. Obviously we're going to get buckled. How about we go to the cathedral and light a candle so that God gives the lady the strength not to hold things against me? If we did that me old China we'd be the first people to give God a laugh since the country put that grinning village idiot in charge. I'd suggest heading to Aldi but their cheapest bottle of wine, that cheeky Ukrainian number you adore, has gone up to two euros and one cent. May the feckers children be born blind. Can't blame Aldi Vince. It's that frigging government tax. A quid vat on a wine bottle, be it Premier Crew or Ukrainian paint stripper. And I know which one those fuckers in that doyle won't be drinking. Flip's sake have they hit the paint stripper too, Vince. That's a crime on several levels. Yes, wallpaper could well make a comeback for one. Right, well if we're all out of options there's only one thing for it. But Riley's has been shut since six. Who the fuck mentioned Riley's? A couple liters of engine coolant from the all night breakers yard it'll have to be then. Keep us toasty. The night that's in it.